Good afternoon, everybody. It's great to have you with me here today. Today, I want to talk to you about how to regain a soft heart. <clears throat> you know, life is hard, and God never promised that it uh, wouldn't be. In fact, he said it would be just uh, riddled with difficulties. And um, But one of the si negative side effects of um, life being so hard is that it can also harden your heart. And once that happens, life even gets harder. Living with a hard heart makes life harder because you see everything through a negative lens. And the book of Hebrews says, uh, in fact, when you let a root of bitterness um, set in your heart, it actually uh, then affects all of your relationships in your life negatively. And it's just a downward negative cycle that will not get broken until you decide to break it. You say, well, how do I do that? Well, you have to take your heart to God. Look what the, the psalmist said about this. He said, create in me, this is Psalm 51, verse 10 through 12. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me by your generous spirit. Now, David's heart had been damaged through his own sin. Maybe that's you. Maybe you... Uh, or living with such shame and anger and self-hatred that you're just lashing out at everybody else around you. Or maybe your hard heart uh, has been a result of other people's sin and trespass against you. Uh, or maybe it's that you're angry at God, that he has allowed pain and suffering to invade your life and he didn't stop it. You know, whatever the source of your hard heart is, God is the only one that can make it soft again. I recently found my heart grown hard. I was hurt and I was angry. But uh, once I saw the way it was affecting those around me, it was affecting my leadership, my parenting, uh, being a tender, attentive husband, I realized I have got to make a change. But it was like, I know I can't change my own heart. So what did I do? I took it to God. And God began to uh, soften my heart. And um, you might think, well, I don't want a soft heart again because it'll make me vulnerable. Uh, you know, it'll make me vulnerable to be hurt again. Yeah, that's true. It will. But I think the only other alternative, uh, which is living with a hard heart, is even worse. And so, do you want your joy restored is my question to you today. Do you want your strength restored? Do you uh, want your psychological, your, your thought life, uh, being able to live with wisdom restored again? There's only one way. You have to take your heart to the heart doctor. He's the only one that can heal your heart. So here's a few questions I want you to answer. Um, and you can leave your comments below if you want. One, are you afraid to live with a soft heart? And what is, what is the worst thing that can happen if you do? Secondly, do you want to be a joy to those around you or one that brings other people down? And thirdly, Proverbs 14, 23 says to guard your heart with all diligence because your heart determines your outward life, what your life's going to look like. So what do you want your life to look like? Okay, I will see you tomorrow.